And of course we were young. You gotta remember how young we were. I was 19, 20, hanging around with Stones and Zeppelin and The Who and all those guys. Hey, baby, won't you rock for me, girl? Won't you rock for me, girl? I'm Pamela DeBar, and um, I'm considered the world's most famous groupie, or queen of the groupies. Brian Gumbel called me that on the Today Show. My first TV show was the Today Show. It was pretty scary. But he called me queen of the groupies, and it's sort of stuck. But groupies have you know, been an iffy word through the years, but I'm proud of it. I'm queen of the groupies. I've written several books. I teach writing classes. I do rock and roll tours. I have a clothing line called Groupie. And I do a lot of things. <laughs> so then from the Beatles, I went to the Stones, and there was no word Groupie. And so I was a fan, but I, I needed more. I needed to experience these people firsthand. I just wasn't, it didn't work for me to sit in an audience and just go yay and freak out. I had to get close to it. Everything started with Elvis. He was this young kid from the South, a hick, who changed the world. And since him, and he was the first rock star, as it went on and on and on, and these huge acts, why wouldn't someone want to be a rock star? They get the adulation from the world. Everybody wants to fuck them. Everybody wants to either fuck them or be them. So, it, and why? Because they have it all. They're up on stage with thousands and thousands of people loving them. It's really just all about love, how much love you can get. So, and, and rock stars get more love than anyone, than any actor, who, all, the, all these actors, Johnny Depp, Kevin Bacon, whoever, they all want to be a rock star too. I'm in love with the ooh ooh man. He was born and raised in schnit schnit land, and his first name is the same as his last. That was about my first lover, Nick St. Nicholas. See, his first name was the same as his last. Yeah, he was in Steppenwolf. I loved him. So you wrote that song? Yeah, I wrote that song. It's called The Ooh Ooh Man. It's on the album Permanent Damage. Frank Zappa and Lil' George produced that.